I'm back in my old 1860 house. I'm down by the street now, so I'm gonna try to do some of these things quick. But at like a 12:39, I got a cool skeleton key intact. I found a couple other ones here before, but they were all snapped off. This one's nice and green. So I've only been here about 10 minutes. The other, only other thing I got was a uh, pull tab. So it's gonna be a, another V nickel. Let's keep going. Alright guys, I got a, a real nice screamer here. 147. 146, 1147. 1246. Well, there's a 2449. I don't know. Let me, uh, I'll cut the plug and then, uh, I brought my little shovel today. I'm not playing around. I don't have a lot of time. I got about an hour and a half. So I don't want to waste time digging holes. Let me, uh, I'll cut, I'll cut it open and then I'll, I'll turn the camera back on. I'm going to try to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but see if I can do this shovel thing one-handed while I hold my machine. Same but seven or eight inches and really there's nothing that deep that's been really junk I would say so hoping this can be something silver so with the tripod a big rock down here Starting to get ugly on me now. I'm trying to take a big enough scoop so if it is something, they don't scratch it. Ooh. That sounds better. Listen to this. It's coming up like 45, 46. as deep as I thought it was going to be. Be right there. I kind of wish I had my hand digger now. Because this is tricky. Oh. Alright, I'm just going to take a big scoop. Because I'm going to end up marking it trying to do it like this. Hold on. See it right there. It's not silver. I think it's maybe another large set. I think that's what my last one came up as 1147. Looks like a large set. Yeah, Ooh, this one's in a lot better shape. Sweet. 1850. Hold on. My second 1852 out of here. This one's a heck of a lot better shape. Awesome. I'll take that. It's not silver, but it's still nice. All right, I'll get back to you. All 
in a pretty deep like 937 um, ended up being a it's kind of a button it's kind of rounded still has a shank on the back I'll have to clean it up it's definitely got a design on the front looks like a flower or something maybe some writing on the back so I'll clean it up Had a weird, I don't know what the heck this, this is coming in. At. Yeah, 1340, 1, 1240. It's, it's big and it's thick. At least that's what she said. Uh, but it's not silver. Can't tell what the heck that is. It looks like it's a coin, but it's got a big eagle on the back. Definitely not silver, though. I don't know what the heck that is. It was weird, I've never seen that. Looks like I'm rubbing the grass a little. What the hell? It's definitely a coin, it says 1880 on it. I swear it says one, <laughs> it says one dollar. Is that a Morgan? It's I mean it's got the face of the Morgan. But I don't know why it's so black. I swear that's a Morgan dollar. Do they usually come out that black? You see down here where it would say one dollar. And it sure as heck wouldn't ring up that low. That is weird. And there's no way that's a silver. When the highest it's getting up to is a 42 conductivity wise. Maybe it's a fake one. Do they make a lot of counterfeits back then? It says like 1880 or 1886. You can see even on the face of her she's got some like uh, funny like bubbling like you'd get on a Almost like on the zinc patty. Uh, I'll clean it up. I'll show you. That's not the back of a Morgan dollar. That's not what they look like. Oh well. I'll see. I'm not sure what this is yet, but it's big like a large cent, but it was only maybe four inches, maybe five. Let me check a date here, see something on it. Looks like another large set. It's got the one cent on the back. But it was not deep at all. The other couple large cents I dug out of here, they were way down there. Just can't make out a date on this one. I can definitely see the one cent on the back, but it was maybe four inches. So I'll clean it up, I'll show you. It sure didn't ring in like a uh, like the other large cents, so the other ones are coming in like quarters. So I'll be interested to see what this actually is. If it's gotta be a large cent. Alright, I'll get back to you. I got everything cleaned up here. Uh, this is a wrap up from uh, my 1860 house I've been to several times. That I, I mean, that place just keeps giving up the uh, the old stuff, whether it's relics or coins. Uh, ended up, I got 164 penny. That was it for clad. Got a neat old button, the shank intact. It's got the curved front on it. Has a kind of like a floral design, and the on the back um, it says standard color c-o-l-o-u-r must be french so it's, it's a pretty fancy button 
Uh, couldn't find a year on it, but I mean that's got to be early 1900s, maybe late 18. Then I got a nice old skeleton key. You could tell somebody put it in a door and tried twisting it, because its uh, teeth don't quite line up, but it's still intact. I found a few keys out of there like this, but this is the first one that I think has been fully intact. It's nice and green too, so that was cool. Um, this was what I thought was the second large scent I got out of there that same day, but it ended up being uh, the Montreal, Canada agricultural token. It's hard to see any detail on here, but um, there's like a kind of like a tree design on one of the sides. I think on this side it goes like that. It looks like a tree. But I researched that. It looks like it's uh, circa like 1837 to 1838. So that was pretty neat. But it's kind of the same exact size as a large scent. Maybe a little bit thinner. And this was the other large. That was the large scent that I got. Um, it's uh, another 1852. It's the second 1852 I've dug out of there. But this one's in better shape than the last one. The last... The first one I dug out of there, it was like the 50, 1852 date was completely peeling up. It was, I mean, if I clean it, I think I'm going to end up taking the date off. So I basically just washed some of the dirt off and it's, I don't know what else to do with it now. I don't know if soaking in olive oil would help or if it's going to ruin it. But this one's a lot cleaner. You can see the Liberty on her headband. So, um, and then the heartbreaker for me was this thing 1886 Morgan dollar except that it's counterfeit um, it kind of it, it didn't make sense when the it was like coming up 1140 1142 so I knew it wasn't gonna be silver but after I dug it I said well, that's definitely a Morgan's face and then I didn't know I guess I don't know what the back of a Morgan dollar looks like because this is the back of a Morgan dollar and I, I mean it is, every detail is accurate. It's got a no mint mark, uh, but it's definitely not silver. You can see all the edges kind of peeling away and I don't know. It's broke my heart. I so badly want to find a Morgan dollar and I'll probably never find another one. The one I got is counterfeit, but it's, I, I know it's era. Uh, it's definitely from that era. I mean, it was a good eight inches down and it's a private property so I know somebody didn't plant it there and as you can tell it's been in the ground it's actually got some it's getting eaten away right there so I don't know maybe they're more rare than the actual real Morgan dollars but I still would have loved to have found a silver Morgan but I'm gonna keep trying my fingernails are dirty because I was actually at that yard again today and I got some uh, some nice stuff another big silver which will be on another video once I clean that up so I'm going to keep going back there until the guy either tells me stop or I'm done with it. So happy hunting. Hope you guys get something good.